Hey guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the chain sprocket on a steel chainsaw. And to be specific, I'll be doing this on a steel MS-170, which is a very popular little saw. Now the exact same procedure will apply to the MS-180 and a lot of other steel chainsaws. The only tool you're going to need to do this today is the chainsaw tool that came with your MS-170 when you bought it. Now if you don't have the tool here, all you're going to need is a 19 millimeter socket and a slotted screwdriver. Now all you have to do is remove the two nuts. You might want to wear gloves to protect your hands from the chain. And today I'm doing this on a brand new MS-170 that I bought this summer. So now grab the chain and the bar, remove it from the sprocket. Now, as you can see here, this saw is brand new, so the sprocket does not need to be replaced. I'm just doing this for educational purposes. Now, the symptoms that will appear when you need to replace the sprocket is that the saw will have a hard time to cut through wood. And you're also going to notice you will go through more chains because what's going to happen is the worn out sprocket will damage the drive links on your chain. So just a good tip here is when you replace your chain, check the condition of your sprocket. Now here's a sprocket from another chainsaw. You can see some wear marks. Now this one is still good. It can still be used. However, I'm just showing you this so that you know what to look for. You want to look for deep grooves into the sprocket. That will tell you that it needs to be replaced. Now flip the solver like this. So now what you want to do is remove the E-clip here on the crankshaft. Again, grab your chainsaw tool. Insert the screwdriver part right in the E-clip like this. Push down pry out, keep your finger on the E-clip so it doesn't go flying on you. And now just pull out the washer. Now what you want to do before you remove the sprocket is to make sure that the chain brake is not engaged. Now just grab your sprocket and pull it out. This one came out easy. Like I said earlier, this is a brand new saw so it's going to be nice and clean. Now, when your saw has been used, you're going to find a lot of dirt in here. So just air blow it out, clean the bearing and the shaft here. Also, if your sprocket is still good and you're keeping it, you want to clean the dirt from inside the sprocket as well. Brake cleaner works good for that old gas. Clean it up, make sure it's not oily. Now you don't have to buy steel OEM sprockets. There are a lot of good aftermarket sprockets out there like Oregon. And also before you reinstall your new sprocket, you want to make sure that your bearing is greased and clean. So what I like to do is grab some lithium grease and pack it into the bearing. The lithium grease stays nice and soft, whether it's winter or summer here. And then just push it right in, pack it right in there. They don't put much grease from the factory, so just remember that. and I'm just rubbing what's left on my finger right on the crankshaft. Now, as you can see here, you don't need to put too much grease on the bearing. You don't want it to get all over the clutch. Now, the most critical part of this whole procedure is to make sure you line up the notch here on the sprocket to the Euler worm gear shaft that you see at the end of my pick, right behind the clutch here. Now, to make this easier for installation, there's a small notch here that lines up with the groove. So what you want to do now is just line everything up. Now you want to reinstall the washer and your clip. Now you could reinstall the clip by just putting your finger here and pushing with the screwdriver part. But I prefer using a pair of pliers for this. I just hold on to the clip and then squeeze. And make sure the clip's there on right, right in the groove. And now just reinstall the bar and chain. I usually just put it on the bar like this and then slide the whole thing on. Usually after you put a new sprocket on the chainsaw, you will have to loosen the chain tightener because things might be a bit tighter with a new sprocket than where you were before. So you just want to keep that in mind. Now put your cover on. Now what you want to do is lift up the bar, check your tension. And this here is a good tension. I just pull out about half an inch or less and it springs right back. And now just tighten up the two nuts evenly. And that's all there is. It's quite easy to do. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is start up the saw and I'm going to test it out in some small logs outside. Now, I haven't used the chainsaw in a few months. So as you saw guys, it's not hard to do. Anybody watching the video will be able to do it. So what I've done also guys is put the part number to the sprocket in the video description. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and that you're following me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and have a great day.